get into the next game. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm, I'm ready. Is we this go. crowd ready? Folks, make some noise! Here we go. Players dropping out of the battle bus to south and almost top, uh, bottom to top trajectory for the bus. Players jumping out very early. You see already floating over the water, trying to get as low as possible. We've got people spreading across to Paradise Palms. A f a less than I expected in that southwest corner to the northeast of Flush Factory, maybe only three or four dropping down there. So it's going to be a, a, a slow, methodical start for those players. But in the bottom right there, you see Tifu pushing across. He's going to drop into the gas station in, uh, in hopes to establish himself a little buffer of loot. These southeast corners, typically you come out with uh, with quite a few materials if you're unchallenged. The, the trees and the, the rocks are key, plus the metal here. He's going after every single piece that he can. Metal for these competitive players is extremely important because early established fights, uh, they have a lot of HP, 110. The second you place him down, Nick Merckx here in Tilted Towers. We've watched him here every time. I guarantee you he's gonna drop here. As I said, his opponents that go tilted, they already know they're at least gonna have to face him. And if they're watching the leaderboards wow. from previous games, they know they're in for a fight against Nick. And there are he's many players in big gray right now. Nick knows this, he'll go ahead and upgrade his assault rifle. Oh, Beautiful blue pick top. up there. That's like, that's, that's like the best thing you could ask for right now, the, the rare drum gun. That's, I don't think it's a weapon I'd want to find. I, More al than that. I almost wanted shield to come out of that thing and, and put him in just even an even better spot He is right. very low on materials though, which means if he's gonna fight somebody courage He's gonna engage. He's not gonna be uh, he's not gonna be slow about it. He has to push he, I almost expect him to take a shot with the blue drum You saw the opponent drop down on, on top of the platform that he plays He's gonna push over here the, this middle building the construction building has a lot of platforms uh, these pallets which come out See a lot of wood. He's, he's, he's completely just ignoring him. He's pushing past. He's looking for, Wait, for look at how many people land and tilted Oh my gosh one two three four five six seven eight nine and okay. tilted that southwest corner, like I said, pretty empty of a good spread of players across the entire map. See, Nick runs away from that fight in Big Gray because he he's just hoping for shields anywhere right now, and still has yet to find any. When you don't have shields, it's, it almost feels like you're naked when you're when you're playing. You, just, you don't feel comfortable in any scenario. Fights. You see, like look at this right now. Chucking the nades, push him out to the left or up the stairs. Just trying to, trying to hope for a, a bait on his opponent. It sounds like he might have been engaged by somebody else. The nade may be revealing a, a position. Just launch padded. Player just launch padded on out. Nick's more than happy just chilling here. Again, since he doesn't have shields, he's not really in the uh, mood to fight in a, any aggressive manner. C9 blind, the uh, getting Whoa. shot, I believe, from two different locations. As he, he was even he was readying himself to drop in. Trump drops a stink bomb, basically a way. It, it's, he's zoning out his opponent in an, an attempt to back out of the engagement. He already got hit from two different locations. I mean, a ton of players know exactly where he is. Now is not the time for him to engage. He doesn't even have healing. He's got the, the, the campfire, but he's got a build to put that down, which means it's not something he can just use on the fly and hide behind. It's going to show up to opponents that see the structure being built. They'll look for that, the color of the, uh, the wood platform platforms and they'll, they'll find them. There's Back Astonish. Out. Hit the shot. There it is. Joshua going down a Lazy Links and Astonish got to feel good about that one. Set to destroy a team that has been around for quite a while. Number of players here. Uh, JP2 from LG yet again. We had our eyes on him last match. He's, uh, as we've seen, knocking out a ton of the, uh, the, the furniture, trying to get every single bit of material that he can for building. Just defensive building is one of the biggest things, knowing just when to put any layer between you and your opponent can stop a single shot, and that can mean the, the difference between making it out alive or even getting an elimination and getting getting eliminated yourself. Kayun, the uh, last round took out Chap, one of the players we've been uh, keeping our eyes on, and Kayun's trying to get the spotlight on him himself, definitely deserved because he's, put, he's been put on a good show every game so far. Farming up some materials, 547 wood already. Back over to Nick Merckx, who's found a slurp juice, it appears. The 75 shield. He's at 570 plus a lot wood of wood. That, that building well. courage, all those pallets, man. Yep. Yeah, you have so much material, you're literally standing on top of and that much wood, that's enough to push anybody aggressively, which is exactly what Nick might try and do here. Using the, the building already, that's uh, that's established, but he's going to get up on top of his opponent. His opponent goes for the edit and misses it and pays the price. Nick Merckx getting himself his first elimination on Erko. He, he only got the corner of that, that platform edited out. Yep. He was trying to drop in and escape, and it couldn't land it. This was over at Risky Reels. <laughs> was, that a, was that a hand cannon hit? Oh, it was. Are you kidding me? 
double hand cannon connects right there to get that a limb. Talk about making some plays with style. Here's Kyle, can't get that engagement to go in his favor. That's Emad with a second limb already this game over at Snobby Shores. Looking pretty good on his uh, healing uh, single mini, and those slurps are, are the value of those. So again, but that. Oh! Whoa! Sloss. He shakes his head like, okay. I'll give you that one. Beautiful play with the impulse. And I love that. A lot of times you see players just leave impulses behind. When you don't have many things in your inventory, sure, pick it up. But he was, the last thing he's expected is an impulse grade to fly on in. Uh-oh. Third like party was about now involved. Yeah. He was going for the push, but shots coming out from the side. Another controller player that we've watched a number of days uh, now. He's trying to track both opponents. Fear of a pinch right here, Courage. What would you do in this situation he's like this? A, you know he's got a rip sides. to go. So he, it's, it's not like he's in super panic mode. Right now, just trying to see exactly if he gets a free damage onto Rio. Rio has 200 health now down to, you know, 169. Grab that truck. Oh, that nade. Oh, the defensive build. He saw the nade come in. The ramps kind of to build a layer underneath him that he can elevate himself with and protect from the uh, the explosive damage. Now, C4 says, I can do that too. Gets the shot and drops in. But he was trying to push for the elimination on Deathstroke. Gets the shots and the drum gun. That blue drum is so powerful up close. That's Rio's first to limb. And look at Sloths. Moving, I don't like a sloth. Doesn't just kind of yeet on in there, just waits, waiting, looking. Seeing what he can do, and there's the rift to go, getting on out. There he goes, is sloth, is sloth gonna use that himself? We'll have to see. He does, he does, as we hear him go ahead and take that to safety. Look at the impulse. Spreading his wings, getting the elimination on Emil Marsha is uh, an impulse you don't, win right like there. Like I said, you don't see a lot of a lot of players use the impulse nades, and I believe that point that's when Desser pushed in, pushed in, maybe heard the the uh, impulse go off and say, okay, this guy is using uh, using something we don't typically see in competitive games. Blind pushing in, trying to get underneath his opponent, and does a great pistol. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Just as lethal as everything else in this man's hand. Blind showing exactly why people should have his eyes on him. And oh. and, and right there. When you, when you don't have things to replace the weapon with, that's why you pick up everything you run over, right? Because there he swaps to a gray pistol to get an Alim in one of the most stacked lobbies you can have. Every little bit helps, and right there, Blind shows it off perfectly. The, the uh, entire play out of Emad's elimination on Kyle there. Now, Nick Merck still in Tilted Towers, I'm not surprised, but there's a reason he's staying here. He basically has the layout memorized. Static and Lavish both uh, moving around, still in there. And there is a third party on the on the hill up up top to the south, just kind of waiting and watching. They're still in the safe zone, and Nick doesn't even have to leave yet. He can stay here for yet another circle. I'm going to tell you something. Nick has no intentions of ever oh, leaving Tilted. Absolutely not. Imagine if he gets kinked here. If Tilted is still in the zone, he's not going to leave that building. It sadly is not. It's he's going to have to move not. southeast in a second. Now, Tempo, we've, we've watched. Those clingers to drop the structure out on, from underneath his opponent. Looks like he did build a step away. And the triangle blocks Tempo from the push up top. A good defensive build from Emad, even though he lost the high ground. Emad still saved himself a little bit. Now Tempo editing himself that back down. He's trying to follow his opponent. Emad is trying to build up. And Tempo oh, almost thought he was going to take some fall damage there. He catches himself inside the tree on the way down. And Emad falling down. Both of these players looks like a third party is engaging. Emad's trying to track Tempo, who flies away, says, I don't want to do this. I know somebody else is shooting. It's time to get out of here. The, the bounce pack coming in pretty clutch. And there's that third party that Tempo was tracking. Emad might have to deal with the situation now because the, the, when the structure came down, the bounce pad disappeared. And that's, that's there's no get out of jail free card anymore. Emad might have to engage this, especially because there's a, just over 60 seconds before the zone is going to move. He does have two eliminations, which means if he gets Tempo right here, that is a point. Aggressive push, 140, and the shotgun and gets Tempo. Emad. Three that, eliminations. You gets himself ask, a point. You can't ask for much more from attack shotgun and, right there. And the a chug jug. jug the and GG. the GG emote. Oh my gosh. Wow. Just deciding to add some flair to that one. Barnologist. Ooh. Oh, the body shot. Oh, wow. Muffins goes down quick. 110 damage with that purple bolt showing just how good it is to carry those power weapons. Barnologist in the feed, who we were just watching, actually goes down to Chris. And right now, only three players, Emad, Tyler, and Dester, have three eliminations or more. They're all at three right now. That's one point apiece. Everybody else is at two or less. And Dester, actually, one of those players, is already eliminated. One point, though, uh, you should still feel really good about that, because that could get him into Monday. There's basically only one way Jire loses this fight, and it's if this hunting rifle can hit a ridiculous shot. His opponent here is... You know, his opponent is so weak. So basically, Jire is in a brilliant spot to win this. Just can't let his opponent hit that hunting rifle shot. 
Just barely canning up the bounce pad, the push away. The bounce actually pushes him out. Might go for the shot here on the fly. His opponent might potentially want to push up for bullets. That's why he can't. That's why he can't spray with the assault rifle. He's just waiting. He has enough HP here. He can wait. You can see, see his opponent actually fell all the way down. No fall damage from that. He caught himself with the build. He's going to push down, try and get this elimination this for before the, the storm ticks out. This is for a point. This you got to push to get this. Oh, oh, no way! Oh, no way! A terrible choke and Wheels then dies yes. to the storm. That, that was, was his third elimination. That's no a point way. for Wheels. Both of them going for a third elim. Terrible, terrible end there. Here's how Nick oh, Merckx goes yes. down a beam a laser from ecstatic. From ecstatic. My goodness, that's a one point difference there. That could be the difference between playing in this grand final tomorrow and not qualifying. Multiple bounce pads here. Ecstatic looking to get back in as fast again. He still has to move. The, the zone here at this point, relatively slow. He's on the inside of it now, so uh, he shouldn't be too worried. But if somebody catches him while he's rotating, he doesn't know based on uh, what you see in the top left. But he's he's safe here. He he doesn't have to reinforce these builds, so potentially losing materials. But that's a safety play. He wanted to get up top. He didn't want his structure to get knocked down while he was trying to build up. And now he does have to move. But the, uh, he might be looking for another he's, elimination. He's at looking this for point. he's looking for this third elim. That's how he's that's how he's playing this he's right going now. Going for the point. Intelligent play here, to be quite honest with you. And he. He, knowing that there's no shield on that opponent, you're going to see a, an aggressive push here. He does have a drum gun. You're going to see that thing come out in a second. The blue tax could be utilized up close. Here we go. It all. Going for it all. Can he get the limb? Yes, he gets does. This. Kev goes down. That's a point for Ecstatic. We actually could hear some people cheering here uh, at PAX West. If you're here at PAX and you're not, you're, you're not watching, I don't know what you're doing. Ecstatic defending himself. He's sitting on top. He's still in the same cube where the campfire is built, which means he's still getting healed from it. And he has a, a ton of metal around him. He's safe for the most part. Ranger from WBG just inside the zone. You're going to see a, an aggressive third party here, yeah. even though Ranger only has a gray AR at that Easy point. to gatekeep that. He's going to wait there and make sure it is not an easy run for him to push on in towards that zone. Ecstatic still has his hands full there over towards Salty Springs. Grandma's house, as many people call it, Octagon. Sokka just staying alive for the moment. Here's Kayun again, low HP. Doesn't oh. matter for him as he just gets that headshot again. The heavy shotgun showing its strength there. Crispy Dime Sokka. You have uh, Dime Sokka and Freak all stacked up on top of each other at this uh, little hunting lodge. This is actually a relatively common drop to push into Salty immediately afterwards. But Blind uh, versus this looks like a Raven skinning. Gets the engagement. Blind hitting the shots and the crit. 52 damage. There's a reason Courage the drum gun is used so often. Yes. This thing hits for over 50 up close, which means four headshots is an Elim on a full, full HP, full shield player. That's so fast and it spits bullets so quickly that if you're accurate, yep. E easy Elims. Now, Tyler's uh, the only player still alive right now with four eliminations. Nobody has five yet. That The five would put him at two points, which means there's a number of players. Actually, there's only two at three or higher right now. Uh, Kayun and Tyler's. Everybody else uh, you saw there on the board at two. And... Oh! Oh, no! That, that's a big oops. Lining the, uh, the guy guided up. Looks like that guy that went uh, not where he thought it would go. As uh, he'll go ahead and build around himself and then possibly pop some minis here to get back to 150. You hate to see that. He's like, yeah, okay. See it not in his head. Yeah, maybe. Uh, uh, maybe I should drop the guided missile. Yeah, not, a, not necessarily. It's actually really uncommonly used in right. competitive, uh, competitive games. I think being able to shoot the rocket out of the air, it only hits for what, 70, uh, 70 75 damage, even Something with like direct, that, yeah. direct hit. It's best at knocking structures down, but at this point, with the, with the circle, probably not a good call. Oh, this was so. This was ecstatic. Is that four? He was right here. outside. We saw Ranger was going to gatekeep, not make it easy for him to get inside, and that's well exactly, exactly what, what he, he did. The port of fort possible from Crispy if he gets in a tough spot. You don't see a lot of players carrying that around uh, in competitive plays. Courage, but he and actually he's getting third party. I wouldn't be surprised if he popped it right now just to build layers between himself uh, and Crunch, who's at the top of that kind of interestingly built structure. It, uh, it came out to one point at the bottom. Jack's teammate Ashton, who we've watched a number of times in Salty, he's at two eliminations. One more would get him a point. And he does have uh, Sock on the outside here, rotating anyway. away. You know he's got to hear him. You can see him right there, the the, the outline pointing towards the direction that uh, he can hear his opponent moving. He's just kind of looking through the wood right now. He's trying to uh, uh, third person look around the corner, see if he can track down his opponent. Crunch has a top down on everybody, though, man. But base holder and blind as well at the top of the hill. That's three players with uh, essentially yeah, a, Crunch. Like, an overwatch on everybody. Crunch is in a beautiful position right now because this is right on the edge of the zone. 
Ashton, no shields left. One more a limb would be enough to get him a point. Hasn't happened yet. Tyler's at five, five. now this That's game. Two That's points. two points. And maybe some more coming on through as he's using his grenade launcher and Sloth is just trying to build, but so much structural damage. And whoo, that's what I talk about. You never know if a sniper's watching you. Lucky so for him, does Tyler. dodge that shot as he'll go ahead and edit down. Maybe pick up these grenades. Yep. He actually ran an explode, so he'll grab six frags to maybe heave those down. Minute 24, 23, 30 players remaining. You see this uh, in the top right, kind of that wide angle shot. Tyler's taking some tap fires, but he's not necessarily al necessarily alone in the area. A lot of players on the north, uh, east, the, uh, that kind of that the northeast side of the map and the center. But actually, it, the southwest corner only has one little boat here. We've seen Energy General put on some uh, put up some excellent plays in the past, but gets caught off guard. Uh, Lobo drops just down in 74 damage from the tank, and that's all she wrote. Now, as I was saying, the south uh, south southwest edges of this map right now are pretty much empty. Uh, a lot of the players are built on the edges of the hill where there's a house at the top. It's going to get dense here in a second. Tyler's just hanging out, sees one player pushing forward. First shot accuracy, that's a 25 tag. So get for now, but any bit of damage you can do to chip away from your opponents always helps. So bounce pad on over, it's time to make a move, it appears. As he'll drop on down, no rift spawned over there. Chris and Kayun both sitting on three eliminations right now, which means a point for each of them, regardless of placement. There's still 16 and a half to go down before people start getting uh, even single points from placement. Saka getting Chris, who we, uh, I literally just talked about how he got a point. Now he's uh, eliminated from the game. Still a good game, still coming away with, with just one point. Look at this. Chris gets the shot on Ranger. We saw gate, uh, gatekeeping earlier, but then dies the trap. It's the most happy I've ever seen someone uh, after getting trapped, and it's because that was his third limb right there to earn him the point. So he'll take it. Crunch. Oh, this storm is chunking him 15, right now. 10, he's done for. Five. He knows it. There he goes, those late game storms. It's hitting for five right now. Next will hit for seven and then 10. Hysteria. Falls victim there, Hysteria. Hysteria versus Will Bo building on top of each other. A third party getting taps. That, again, the top of the hill, those those towers, yep. they see you, they're taking shots. Jao Kai is actually built in inside with them. You see him running around underneath. There's three parties here, and they, they might not even realize the uh, before. Well, hey, excuse me, Crispy it, it, coming hysteria, in saying, I'm here it, too, don't forget. If Hysteria plays his part well, he could easily get his third limb, maybe a fourth and fifth. He's got by far the most HP. He's got the tools to do this. This now, is Hysteria's moment you to hear possibly that? qualify. Third night in a row of competing in this late night qualifier in hopes to make it to Monday. Now, Hysteria could hear the shotgun reload from his opponent. You hear that he the, got the, zone. the shells going in. He's Wow. He got the zone, too. He doesn't have to move. He's got a window there. He's going to kind of peek around, see what he can spot. He knows his opponent just reloaded his shot. So it's full there. Chap goes down in the feed. The Tylers, who've been watching, that put that's Tyler's sixth elimination. Jalakaius gets a little boat. Who one of the other players that was in there? Crispy's still in there. Jalakaius is still in there. There's so many players stacked around Hysteria right now. And, and here's Minis being popped. I think Hysteria's thinking, okay, exactly. maybe this guy's a little bit weak. Maybe I can make a move happen. I've got near 200 HP. Hysteria peeking. peeking Shotgun doesn't right hit now. quite yet. Challenging the corner. He's caught in the tree. It's a heavy shot from both. Remember, Hysteria has no healing. I'm surprised he's not following this up. He's waiting. I thought he was going to go for that. Instead, I'm wondering if his opponent has Minis to use. Hysteria trying to stay alive. Remember, needs one more a limb for a point. This could be his chance to get on the board to potentially move him towards competition on Monday. Now the third party begins to spray on in. Hysteria building. Hysteria trying to stall. Nothing as of yet. He's got to edit this wall, close this window. There you go. This is how intense is this right now, Lupo? Is, you're, this is the difference between potentially so playing for 1.5 million and not. Yeah. Now we're talking about Chap a second ago. I saw it in the feed, but let's take a look at how it actually played out. Tyler's the window peak catches Chap off guard. He's, he's trying to build up to get to the zone and couldn't get a wall to block the shots from Tyler's inside his little box there. A great timing play there. Now, I want to say, I think Hysteria didn't push. You were commenting on, on it earlier. If Hysteria knew there were two there were two other players there potentially waiting for an engagement to happen and one of them take each other out and just wait to the last second, he knew there were still people alive. He didn't even hear the shots at the time, but you never know. Hysteria might also it might also have been just like a, a fear lockup. Now this is the first zone move. Tyler's actually has seven Whoa. eliminations. 
So Blind many high just got sniped by down. a heavy sniper. You saw that. I believe it was was that Bape Jesus who hit the shot. Here's Tyler, Tyler seven, down seven limbs. Three points for him, basically guaranteeing a spot on Monday, unless everybody else goes absolutely wild for the rest of the games. Yeah, so it's catches Sloth pushing up next to him from outside of the storm. Sloth might not even have known Tyler's was inside. That's eight eliminations. We've only seen one other player courage hit double digits. And that was Animal yesterday. Here's is this the heavy shot from Bay Soldier? Oh, this, oh, this was the shot. Blind, you can't sit up top. Yeah, that was uh, Bay Soldier with that heavy sniper, the new addition. That does 157 damage to the body, 360 plus damage for the headshot. So basically, yeah, you're not living. If no. that hits you, Hysteria still at two. At this point, do you think he waits and hopes to just place top ten? Because he's two two limbs away, three limbs away. I would. At this, you hear there's another that guided rocket that must be OT Divine who had it previously. If he's still alive, drops Tyler's down. Now compared to the rest of the players that are alive right now, Courage Tyler's has eight, and the next closest in turn is Hysteria, Rio, uh, and Godbat who have two eliminations apiece. He has more than those three added together. And that's the next closest for elimination count that are still alive in this game. See how he just builds out these huts, spams all those walls, OT Divine. Moving forward, 12 players left. The next two who drop will miss out on points. Replacing the wall so he has control. The editor is getting his ninth elimination. He maybe here overheard us earlier saying eliminations do Who count for drop next. JP2 drops next, which means we're at our top 10. Every player remaining just earned themselves one point. That's Can Hysteria feel good get like a Hysteria. second? Can he get a second here with another limb? He's only got, you know, one more wall he can build. I feel like he's just got to go for this. Uh, the circle is kind of in his favor. If he had more materials, if he can get that elimination, not only is it a point, uh, Horrify is, is probably the player you heard above him, but he'll get the, the materials that are left. Horrify oh. actually just got lasered, almost eliminated there. You hear him popping minis. Hysteria cannot build a single structure again. Tyler's still staying alive. Didn't take a single point of damage. Hysteria Those, got the limb on the Rex. That's, that's three, three now for that's Hysteria. That's two points in this game for Hysteria. So Tyler's already has nine limbs, which means he gets plus three, then plus one for the top ten. Horrified trades the limb onto Divine. Tyler's still moving. Could we see the clean sweep of a game for the first time, a full six-point performance, if he can win this one? He Trap hears so much around him, he doesn't even now care. Now goes down the storm, five left. Oh my goodness, is this the tenth limb? Can he match Hannibal? Yes, he Gets does. Base holder. Four. Almost ticked out. One more tick. He's got, Stormy's he's got gone. three campfires. If this turns into a play for the, uh, against the Stormy, a med kit? Jeez. Folks, Tyler's may clean sweep this game. He's going to be near the top amount of HP left in this lobby. Ten of limbs. You see him waving? He knows. He, he knows he's on camera right now. He, know, he knows we're showing love. a cheeky love. smile. Now, three campfires courage in competitive plays, uh, gameplay, especially where it comes down to almost a heal off at the end, is crazy powerful. You'll yes. see players put down uh, floors right next to each other, place all the campfires simultaneously, and sit at the jump between the platforms because then it, they're taking up multiple squares. They're getting He's top a heal three. from he all He just of them. earned another point. That's five. Tyler's now has five this game alone, folks. He's so confident. close. Down to the top two. The speed that he had to get through. 1v1 situation. It's this could be up. six points for Tyler's if he gets the shot off. Ladies and gentlemen, this is so insanely challenging to do. He's got the high ground now. He's popping minis. He's could good. This he could go for it? the heal off. He could absolutely go for a heal off. And look at how low on HP his opponent is under 70, under 70 health. Well, if Tyler's decides to go for this, go for the 11. It'd be the highest elimination count in any game we've had in the qualifiers. His opponent decides to shoot up from underneath. You see, he's doing it. Okay, he's here we go. The layers. Ladies and gentlemen, this could be it right here. He's building himself high enough to be able to drop down a bunch of campfires to outheal the zone. His opponent knows. He knows that he can't outheal this, and the expectation might be that he, he knows Building that more layers. He's trying to catch up to him. Tyler's keeps on going. When is it campfire time? When will he place them all down? He just keeps building up, keeps building more layers. His opponent can't catch him. I think it's time. It's time to place him down. One, two. He's sitting Three, right there. And you look go. at this. Good He's going to heal on up. Tyler's for the first time this week. The six point game. There, there it is. is. Hands down, the best performance.
performance we've seen in a game thus far throughout every heat, throughout every qualifier. And that smile sums it up perfectly. The six-point performance, absolutely insane stuff. Jack, I got to say, day three has proven itself to be the craziest thus far. Absolutely. And we're not even done yet. We're not. We have one more game tonight. That was like Tyler saw Tifu's crazy end. It was like, you know what? 